Hey friends, welcome to day 10 of our beginner month-long yoga series. I'm Molly, I'm glad you're here. Um, before you move on, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you like this class or any of these classes, and like and comment and share, do all those good things. And I also have my Venmo link listed below if you feel like you could donate for all the effort I put into these, that would be amazing, but I'm glad you're here either way. Today's class is a breathwork pranayama class. So important thing is, is to find a comfortable position in your body. Grab whatever bolsters or pillows you need. If you want to do this practice laying down, you could take that option as well. But whatever you need to do to find comfort in your body, you could also pause the video and stretch for a few minutes, wiggle through your body, take some cat cow, if that helps you settle into this space. And once you arrive, just take a breath in. Don't control it in any way, but signal the arrival onto your mat with a nice big breath in and a nice big breath out. So first today, I would like to introduce ujjayi breathing. Um, and what this means is it's a way of constricting the back of your throat. And you can do ujjayi breathing any time that you want. A lot of people say to not necessarily do it while you're really heavily in a vinyasa flow, but I oftentimes do and I think it feels fine, but listen to your body per usual. So what you're gonna do is you're breathing in and out through your nose, but in the back of your throat, you're gonna constrict slightly. So a good way to do this is pretend like you were breathing like Darth Vader. Another way that, another cue that helps some people is make your breath to sound like the waves of an ocean. It's a really soft, you're not, it, it shouldn't be really scratchy and raspy, but just kind of a, a light, gentle, soft, slow compression, constriction. So what this feels like is finding the area of your sinuses all the way to the back of the throat and almost contracting them in towards each other. Another cue that can help you is to pretend that you're breathing, like you're fogging up a mirror or a piece of glass, but you're gonna close your mouth while you do that. So, it's all very interesting to try to teach um, and if you have any other recommendations or cues that work for you, by all means use that, but practice here for just a few rounds. I'm going to go ahead and breathe into the mic the way that it should sound to give you an idea. So go ahead and practice that ujjayi breath over the next few days, um, just revisiting it. Eventually it will click. Um, sometimes it just takes a few different combination of those cues. All right, and you're welcome to use that breath at any point. I love to do it when I kind of first arrive into practice. It feels very um, purposeful to me. The next breath we're going to do is called box breathing. And what this looks like is you're going to envision a box. Pretend this was a square. Our inhale and our pause at the top of the inhale and our exhale, as well as the pause at the bottom of the exhale are all the same length of time. So it's a four part breath. You're gonna inhale for four seconds, hold at the top of the inhale for four seconds. So you're just tracing along the outside of a square. You're gonna exhale for four seconds and then hold at the bottom of the exhale for four seconds. With this breath, um, it's more calming if you breathe in and out through your nose. And again, you can incorporate that, that ujjayi breath. 
So we'll go through a few rounds together. Close your eyes down if you'd like. And we'll inhale for one, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. If that is too long for you, um, mute this video. Just do a two second hold or a three second hold, whatever works for you. Let's do a few more rounds. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. One more cycle on your own. So since that breath is so symmetric, it's a very grounding breath, very grounding and centering. It's often used by, I've heard it's used by military um, groups for calming anxiety as well. So it's a good, good technique. The last thing we'll chat today about is a really relaxing breath. Anytime you're taking your exhale out for longer than you're bringing in your inhale, is gonna bring in more relaxation. So a very common count you might see is to inhale for four seconds and to exhale for eight seconds. Again, if that's too long for you, you could try to inhale for two or three seconds and then just double the length of the exhale. So maybe four to six seconds on the way out. Um, let's do a couple rounds of a three and a six count. And then we'll do a couple rounds of a four and eight count if that feels okay in your body. If it doesn't, just stick with the shorter count. So again, close your eyes, relax your shoulders, empty the air from your lungs. We're breathing in and out through our nose. Inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Going for four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more rounds on your own. Good, take in a normal breath. Exhale, open your mouth side out. Blink your eyes open softly and just feel how you feel in your body, in your energy, hopefully a little more centered and calmed. If the breath work brings any type of anxiety or dizziness, just pass along. Don't practice it that day or in that technique, that's totally fine. Um, but just know some of it takes practice too. So if it didn't feel super relaxing today, give it another couple tries and, and see how you're able to hone in more and focus more and release more. All right. That is our pranayama practice for the day or for the week, I guess. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next time.